Welcome to Tujer, Tunisia. This is an enchanting palm oasis located in southwest Tunisia on the edge of the Sahara. While the surrounding area appears desolate, this oasis springs up like a mirage and is buzzing with activity. It's known for its old medina and unique brick architecture that make you feel like you've stepped back in time. Today, we're going to uncover the mysteries within this unique desert community. Let's go check it out. Welcome to my Riyadh in Tunisia. After about four hours of being on the road, we just checked into this Riyadh. We have our own little hut. Here's my bed, TV, little kitchen. Tucked away in a peaceful oasis is Dar Abu Habibi, a chilled out lodge with uniquely decorated cabins. Look at this beautiful boutique resort we're staying at in the palm grove. We have these little cabins and each one is marked by a different animal. So I have a lion here and Patricia has a camel and we're on stilts. And there's like a little garden down below. It's so cool here. We grab a breakfast of locally sourced dates made here in the oasis. Room service. Next, we take a horse ride into the center of the oasis to see exactly how the dates are made. Dates are one of Tuger's finest and most well known exports. The oasis contains hundreds of thousands of palm trees. Oh. I had a date party one night, seriously. Through the palm forest. Palm forest of Tozier. Banana. <laughs> bananas. Mm -hmm. They grow small bananas here, but the large ones they get from Ecuador. Okay. Date production plays an important role in the economy of the oasis, as it provides many jobs to farmers and exporters. Tunisian dates are exported to more than 80 countries, and there are more than 300 varieties of dates. Cannot make it by machines. Here, we see a farmer harvesting the dates. Date palms are unique in that they're either a male or female tree. The male trees produce pollen, the female trees produce flowers. Unfortunately, neither birds or bees are attracted to the flowers, so the females have to be pollinated by hand.
This is the female cluster. And this, Hadjai Dukka, Unahu. And this is the pollen. Okay? And put at least some of them and hung them here, inside. Inside. Oh, that's right. Pollination. I see. Wow. Yeah, exactly. He puts it inside. And then they tie it. And then he ties it. Oh my god. 50 shades of palm. Hello. 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 Oh, there we go. We're over here. Little did you know that that much work goes into making these delicious treats. One of the most identifiable elements of Tougere is the architecture, handmade by brick. Let's check out how it's done. As I told you about, these tiles are unique in Tozo, uh, which we, we call the brick of Tozo. A brick uh, was something we ate, and you know it, yeah. you know, <laughs> first day. But this is also a brick, we call it, brick of Tozo. This is the special brick of Tozier. It's made with two parts green clay, one part red clay, and it keeps the houses here very cool. So it'll be 55 degrees here in the Sahara, but you won't feel it because inside it'll be 25 degrees. It's a very porous stone. This is where they make the bricks all by hand. This tradition is passed down through generations. Here we meet a local brick maker who shows us how it's made. Rocks, but not big rocks. So when he is mixing now the two types of clay, eliminate the uh, big rocks that exist, that exist in existence. After the clay is mixed, it's hand molded and covered with ashes to avoid being dried too quickly. The bricks are then dried in the sun, then recut and stacked for ventilation. Finally, they're put in a traditional kiln where the temperatures go up to 900 degrees Celsius. All of this is done on the outskirts of the oasis. Now we head back to our hotel to enjoy traditional Tunisian cuisine. Mike, what are you eating? Baklava. This is the baklava. Baklava. This is a kak warqa. What is it? This is kak warqa. Kak warqa in Arabic. Tunisian languages. Kak warqa. This is the Tunisian. What is this one? Ah, this is a new, a new, a new design. New design. Yes, this is. It's made here in Tunisia. So good. It's so good. Cheers. Cheers. That's right. Tunisia produces delicious red wine. Cheers. 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 After enjoying some delicious local wine, it's time to check out the nightlife of Tougere. What'd you get? Mike, you have a baby puppy. Oh, little pie. After getting distracted by a very cute puppy, we enter one of the local lounges, complete with entertainment. Salsa is the local beer and croissant. We watch as a local band plays traditional Tunisian music. Mm. 
Midway through the show, there was a stream of incense providing a smoky atmosphere. We hope that you enjoyed this look into the culture of Tujer, Tunisia. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe because coming up next, we're going to explore the deserts of Tunisia.